Good morning. This is the best I can do today. It's a beautiful sunny day here in England. I've been lining this one up for a while. It's Psalm <coughs> Friday, the 27th of August. <laughs> Why do need to go for my operation? But anyway, I found this in my mother's Bible. It's Psalm 139, verse 16. Candles to the left of me. <laughs> to the right of me. <laughs> okay, now this entails a whole long philosophical discussion. Just this one verse. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Anyway, I'll read it. It's Psalm 139 in two parts, and then see. O Lord, you have searched me, and you know me. You know when I sit, and when I rise, you perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O Lord. You hem me in behind and before, you have laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. I say, surely the darkness will hide me, and the light become night around me. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be, amen. Now, how can that be? We don't even have free will, that's the point. Alright? It's a major discussion, that. If all the days are known for me, we're written already. Me, you, whomever, right? Well, John the Baptist definitely was imbued with the Holy Spirit from his mother's womb. Zechariah was the father Elizabeth, if I'm right. John the Baptist, right? So he had no choice. To me, St. Francis was lined up for to be St. Francis. So he really didn't have a choice. What I do say is, we have possibly the choice to love God or not. But other than that, but then the problem I have with this is exactly that. What about all the others who aren't chosen? So, right from birth, or conception in fact, you see, and then, then I get lost. Seriously lost. I, the babies who've died in my arms in Africa and stuff, whatever. I can understand suf suffering for a, a, an adult, a friend's um, father has got serious cancer and so on. Well, one wouldn't wish illness on anyone, but it's, to me, it's not, it's one's human response to whatever life gives you. It's your human response that matters. Anyway, it all gets very, and it's only one little, there's <laughs> a whole Bible full of this stuff. <laughs> I'm lucky to have a nice place to be in, hey, where I can do this. I'm free to do this. I'm not stuck in a motorway service station. I'm free to do whatever this is. 